Oh shit, it's starting right now. Uh, uh, 1849, a meteor crashes somewhere amongst the islands of the Arctic Archipelago. The natives, frightened, told tales of the meteor to travelers nearby. And by 1875, another expedition was sent or something. No one has ever heard from them since. Over a year has passed and the expedition has not returned. You were sent to investigate what happened. Uh, hello, it's me, a wild rose what just appeared. I didn't know that the game was going to start the moment I opened it. Normally they have little intro screens first, but, uh, today it's... Uh, pause really quickly to go look up title. <clears throat> Formation by Ruben Tipperock. I knew that the whole time. I was just kind of playing with you guys. That was a bit. It was really funny, right? <laughs> of course I know the names of the games I play. Except for the ones I don't. Read journal entry, please. Oh, E. Yes. February 20th, 1853. The journey here was less than exciting. We arrived at the, on the HMS to Condoruga and set up camp. After three years since the meteor's arrival, the surrounding air in this region is abnormally warm. Initial ground survey shows that the soil is enriched with some unknown minerals. Hmm. So this is a spooky game. Because pretty much every game I've been late playing lately is. Uh, the reason for that is simply that they're kind of cool. They're short, little interesting experiences. And that's it. I will definitely be branching out into other games and all. Ooh. I don't like how slowly and creakily that opened. But anyway... Read journal entry. March 12th, 1853. We've established that the natives nearby have dubbed the rock Albgnari. They say it is a local legend that the one who seeded the earth would return to find it unfavorable and begin a new transformation in the image of it desi in the image it desires. Okay. Onwards. Ooh. I like these little pixelated style spooky games. They're like I, I know that, generally speaking, better graphics makes for a better game within reason. Um, for horror experiences, though, I feel like there's an uncanny valley except the other way around, where they're, like, mediocre graphics, um, like, mediocre 3D modeling, where it's just not not as scary. But then when you regress to, like, pixelated stuff like this, it could be a lot spookier. Anyway, September 21st, 1853, Mr. Albert and I set out on a 115-mile journey. We carried with us supplies for three weeks. Hope the locals can provide us some help with surveying, surviving the winter or sending a message home. Okie dokie. July 17th, 1853. The stream nearby exhibits some strange properties. It seems to be the source of local mineral deposits in the soil. Surveying the meteor has yielded little to no results as we don't have the proper tools to break inside. But it appears to somehow be influencing the nearby surroundings. I'm not sure how. Is it an SCP-2? Everything's coming up SCP lately. Hello. I don't like that. Can I see in- Oh, I can- I can yump! I can yump! There's nothing in there. There's not even poop. This isn't even a real outhouse. Don't you lie to me. Hello. Hello, babe. Open trunk. Open trunk. No, open trunk! Okay, well. Keep. Open trunk! Open trunk! Open... Okay, fine. I tried. I gave it a good old college try. Note. October 10th, 1853. Returned from our journey to find Crewman Charles had died of an unknown illness. The doctor asked what we found, and we told him the bad news. The locals have abandoned their village. It was as if our arrival brought some curse. They left no food or water in its place. And winter might be what finally kills us. Or me not being able to get into the trunk! I want it! Is there a button I pressed to... Uh, no. Okay. Always mash all your butt... Wait. Okay, never mind. That was just it reflecting the background. I thought for a second when I right-clicked um, that it did something with the key. What? I came from that way, right? Sure. Oh, this, this is probably the locked door. Yep, that was it. All right, that's where my key goes. I wanted the chest, though. There might have been a sword in there. It's dangerous to go alone, and I didn't get to take this. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, well, my. How how many teeth you have, friend? November 12th, 1853. Albert has disappeared without a trace. Blakely called him a coward and a deserter. I don't blame him. There's something I'm settling about this place. Like that? Like that right there? Is that the unsettling about this place? It seems like it should be. I find it unsettling. Um, that is a lot of firewood, my dudes. Like, how many piles of firewood 
Ooh, split path. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, this one. I cannot run, for the record. This is as fast as we go tonight, friends. I did not know I could do that. Oh, I didn't know I could throw my lantern like that. Anyway, November 28th, 1853. Mr. Blakely claims he saw the carving come alive last... Oh, no, don't tell me that. Animated, it ran deep into the woods and gave up a disturbing howl that shook the trees around. Neither the doctor or I believe him. We believe something in the water might be causing hallucinations. Have you seen that thing? That thing's fucking weird. Oh, I gotta go back to make sure it's still there, actually. Hello? Are you dead? Okay, good, it's still there. I'm safe. I'm still safe. Everything's Gucci. It's cool and groovy in a far out way, my dudes. Wookie. <clears throat> Gonna hide in this hole. Everything's fine. I actually don't like it here. This is a dead end. I'm leaving now. Uh, December 12th, 1853. Almost the end of the year. Dr. Swanson believes that the tree... Ooh, Swanson. Chicken a la king. They discontinued it, but it's so tasty. Anyway, Dr. Swanson of tasty chicken a la king fam fame believes that the trace of minerals are causing some sort of neurological disease. He believes in time we may all suffer the same fate as the two men before. That's preferable to... That wasn't there before, was it? What do you think you're doing? Leaving. Is that the correct answer? Leaving? I like that answer if you do. I don't like that. It's still there. It's still there. Everything's fine. Stop now. Go home or I will stop you. Okay. No problem. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. Goodbye. Sorry, friend. Yep. I don't like you. So... Hello. Did I see you before? November 28th, 1853. A stained statue carved in wood has appeared in our camp. I'm not sure what to make of it. I've never seen such a creature from any mythology. Perhaps it was a warning from the locals. I thought they had all left months ago. Or maybe I was wrong. What kind of moron are you where that shit randomly appears in your camp and you keep chilling like it's fine? Or better yet, you set the shit on fire. Set it on fire. Burn it to the ground. Anyway, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Did I read this one too? The snow has been piling up and we could see tracks left by some kind of creature. I didn't see these notes before, apparently, but God, these people are dumb. I feel we're being watched by something more cunning than ourselves. Like the statue, the creepy-ass statue. We've decided to start a night watch for this animal in rotations around the clock. I found it. I found it for you. Anyway, I'm leaving. Fuck this. Farewell, friends. Wait a minute. Can I leave? Please? No? Alright. Well, fuck. I tried to do what you said, monster! I, uh, let me- let me out! God damn it! Fine! I try- ooh, what was over here? Everybody let the monster know I tried to do what he said. Oh, this is cool. I like the sound effects. It's pretty. Anyway. Um... I apologize, beasts. I attempted it. Oh, shit. Fuck. I forgot that clicking throws an turn. Um, I attempted. I attempted to do as Monster wanted. It did not work. Give me chest. Give. Give. Oh, it worked! Give me! Bone key. I don't... I don't like that very... Oh, no. Why more this? Listen to me. Do not open that door. I I would like not to, but I, I do not appear to have a choice in the matter. My fingers move of their own volition. My eyes glaze over. My sadness resounds throughout the snow. I cannot do as you ask. If it escapes, all of mankind is done. I don't like the whispers. You can you cannot do those. Oh, God. You leave me no ch- uh oh. Uh oh. On a scale from one to ten, how fucked am I? Just quick show of hands. How fucked am I? Raise my hand if. 
Raise your hand if one fucked. Raise both your hands if two fucked. If run out of hands, find other person, raise more hands, and feed them to monster so monster does not feed on me. Thank you. Oh, I, I should have read this. What am I doing? Um, December 7, 1853. The doctor has fallen ill. Blakely seems restless to find out what's inside the rock. The water started growing more vibrantly at night. Glowing more vibrantly at night. It seems to be a reaction from the minerals when exposed to freezing temperatures. Fractures are also appearing on the rock. Something is coming alive. Other than the statue. I don't... No. I don't like that it's blank. Yeah, I, I don't... That's unsettling. Don't do that. Um... This is... This is freaky. This game's freaky. December 18th, 1853. Mr. Blakely suggests that we build walls closing off this area in case something were to escape from the rock. Its surface has grown brittle and a green light is shining through its cracks. We are on the brink of first contact with a being from the heavens. My only fear is that the world won't learn of what we've discovered here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, can I leave? December 21st, 1853. Today is the day we crack it open. Don't do that. Whatever evils we unleash, may God forgive us. Um, how about just leave? How about go back, tell everybody it's here, bring the military, bring... <gasps> God fucking hell. What? Jesus, balls, that was loud. I didn't... Oh. 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 Closed door, please. Hello. I have lost control. Hi, buddy. Are you... No, thank you. Jesus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I did a bad. Wait, I did a bad. I don't. The why are there so many of yous? No, I. Just let me go. Just let me go. Oh God. Are we doing the spirit spirit bomb? Spirit bomb! I give Goku my energy. No. Navi, is that you? I'm just gonna keep going through things until I'm right, and it's not horrible death. They don't seem as big as I thought they were when they were up there. Can I tilt my? No. Oh, oh. And green. Death by green. Not the death I expected. Or I'm okay. Okay, the game closed. Yep, death by green. So that game was weird. But really cool. I like the atmosphere it built up a lot. Um, the little notes and the spookiness and the notes were actually pretty well written, in my opinion. Um, I'm confused and it didn't look like the, it, uh, I can talk. It didn't look like there was a whole lot more and I want to know who yelled stop at me. But anyway, maybe, maybe there's another game coming out in this. Maybe this is part of a series, whatever it was, it was neat. So anyway, have a good night guys. Proud of you for sticking with it and I'll see you next time. Bye.